Zambia has the second most land under protected status in Southern Africa. A total of 30% of Zambia is designated as protected areas. The community-based natural resource management was founded in the 1980s and their aim is to empower and devolve management and user rights to communities living side by side with wildlife in the GMAs. The Community Resource Board was formed in 2000 and working through various international projects and programs were able to force government through the 1998 Zambian Wildlife Act to recognize the role of communities in conservation. From the onset of the CRB until 2015, the Community Resource Board and the Zambian Wildlife Authority worked hand in hand with a structured sharing benefit in place where Royal Highnesses, CRBs and Zawa received funds mostly from concession fees from tourism based lodges and activities as well as hunting. The funds received by the CRBs went directly into benefiting communities within and around the GMAs with the employment of more than a thousand community scouts, community development projects such as sinking of boreholes, building schools and clinics and alleviating the suffering of those communities living in the GMAs. In 2015, Zawa was abolished to pave the way for the new Department of National Parks and Wildlife. Since the transition from Zawa to DNPW, Royal Highnesses and CRBs have seen constant denial of funds. In a recent press release, the CRBs, the Royal Highnesses, community members and community scouts have forced a no hunting policy in any and all hunting blocks in Zambia. Hunting camps have been shut down and secured to make sure no hunts can proceed and all hunting permits have been withdrawn until such a time as all outstanding monies and compensation be cleared up. A few short days after the press release, game capture trucks are seen entering the South Luangwa National Park. Permission for the capture was granted by someone within Zambian Tourism Authority, but no one could provide permits or any documentation. And we started getting stories that they are here to abduct the, the animals. Uh, we're not too sure like uh, which sort of animals they are here for. We thought we should have been consulted as uh, the custodian of this national park. And so what we decided to do is uh, go and get a permit to do a protest. Scores of Mfue residents Monday afternoon stormed Mambo police station to notify the police about a peace of protest that was supposed to take place on Tuesday, September 24th, 2019. As to where these animals were going, it later transpired they were heading to a privately owned concession outside of the jurisdiction of DNPW or any CRBs. In 2017, United Nations World Tourism Organization Secretary General Taleb Rafai declared South Luangwa National Park as the first park in the world to be committed to sustainable tourism. This declaration means that the sanctuary has proved that it has the potential to meet the current need of tourism as well as for future generations. Due to continued resistance by the stakeholders, the trucks left in Fue without any animal on Tuesday afternoon. The noise by the community members when the trucks were passing is evident enough that the people were against the fearing of animals out of the national park. Leave our animals in peace. Well done. Go, 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 who will burn your trucks, go, 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 go. Vazo na wanyamule nyama kuhu na wapeleke kwa hawa, meaning that wazungu si wazambo buwela. Wazambo enda kwenye wazopeleka nyama zija. So ife kuhu tizambo nkala cheti di bendrama na kuguli satizaleka. Wana wazambo vutika, maskulu, si wazambo punzila. And then umoya wa vutika waku dala. Tina kondwele na ganzo ya wanyo sena buwela kwa wamba uti nyama zichoke kuhu nozi ende kuina angu. Aa, yenari ganzo ipa kwa mbili. So boma ifani katika ganzo zilepa mena hapa. Chifuwa kuhu na kwa mene tiri. We are saying no to capturing of wildlife in South Rwanda National Park, period. South Rwanda National Park Safari Guides Association Chairperson Jailas Mchenga Jr., known to many as JJ, is disappointed with the Department of National Parks and Wildlife's conduct of harboring the tracks which everyone in the community believed belonged to animal robbers. In most areas where there were animals, authorities struggle to control the local people from poaching, but the case is different with Mfue, 
as the community members are able to see the importance of animal conservation. In the last years, the custodians stood together to put a stop to the proposed dam to be built on the Luangwa River. This would have been a disaster of epic proportions if this went ahead, as the Luangwa Valley ecosystem is extremely sensitive and farming communities along the banks rely on the rapid draining of the floodplains after the rains to plant their crops. They too stood up against the proposed cull of more than 2,000 hippopotamus in the Luangwa Valley just last year. It is no surprise then that these same wildlife warriors would once again join forces and stand together in defiance of this removal. Between the chiefs, stakeholders, community members and finally but most importantly the Professional Guards Association of South Luangwa National Park, a request to police from the Mambu district was applied for to stage a peaceful yet forceful demonstration to have the capture of game stopped and their trucks removed from the area. On Tuesday, 24th September, the trucks were seen leaving the Mfui area escorted by armed police. Large crowds had gathered along the road in Mfui, stoning and shouting at the trucks as they sped through the tiny village. I say well done to all those involved for saving our wildlife and ensuring the continued operations of a sustainable ecosystem protected and operated by passionate custodians. Together we can continue sharing in the beauty of this spectacular region. As the mantis mantra goes, man and nature together is sustainable.